Well, we are learning new details about last night's deadly stabbing in Ottawa County. Police say that the woman was stabbed multiple times by her husband at their home in the West Olive area. News 8's Jacqueline Francis has been breaking developments on this investigation on WoodTV.com, and she's in studio with the latest. Jacqueline? Police say the victim and her husband got in an argument that turned deadly when he took out a knife, stabbing her multiple times. A close friend telling us she's shocked and devastated by the news. From the outside, it appears to be a happy home in a quiet neighborhood. But inside, police made a deadly discovery. It was a very tragic scene, a uh, graphic scene. Um, it was complicated by the matters that there was three young children there. The victim has been identified as 32-year-old Quinn Hallisey. The Ottawa County Sheriff's Office says they were called to the Olive Township home Monday evening. There, they found Hallisey stabbed to death. The Sheriff's Office telling us she and her husband got in an argument that turned deadly when he took out a knife, stabbing her multiple times. There were multiple knife wounds uh, to the victim, um, which was confirmed at the forensic autopsy this morning, and the death was ruled a homicide. Police say three kids, two age 10, the other age 7, were inside the home when it happened. Two of the kids ran out of the house to alert a neighbor, who then called 911. The other child was with the suspect when police say he fled the scene. He was later taken into custody, and the child was not harmed. It's a tragic situation, and um, we're relieved that the children were all unharmed physically. Hallisey's longtime friend, shocked and devastated by the news, sharing with us these photos of them together, saying Hallisey's smile lit up a room. Telling News 8, quote, she was always there for the people she cared about. She was there for me when my heart was broken or when I was sick. She swooped in to save me from domestic violence situations. We reached out to Hallisey's family. They declined comment at this time. The suspect is expected to be in court tomorrow where he'll be formally charged. He's currently being held at the Ottawa County Jail. In studio, Jacqueline Francis, News 8.